Hey everybody, Justin Seely here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to create this awesome neon spiral effect using Adobe Illustrator. This is a really easy technique once you know the secret, and the best part is it can be applied to any type of shape you want, not just circles and spirals, but just about anything you want can be turned into this. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'll choose a new document, and it doesn't matter how big or how small this document is. For this case, I'll just start with something like 1920 by 1080 so 1080p. And once I have that created, what I'm going to do is just choose a shape. Now again, you can do this with just about any shape you want other than say an ellipse, because this is all about rotation and an ellipse rotated around itself is just an ellipse. So I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look any different. Um, the first one that you saw there, I actually use the star tool for that. For this one, I'm actually going to use the polygon tool. And with the polygon tool, what I'm going to do here is just kind of search for the middle of the document, which is right here. I can use the smart guides to do that. When you get close to the center, it's going to say center in little pink letters. And then what I'm going to do here is just hold down the option key on the Mac, the alt key on the PC, click and drag out from the center. And once I have this like I want it, I'll hold down the shift key to constrain the proportions, by the way. Once I have it like I want it, something kind of like that, doesn't really matter how big or how small. In this case, it's about 600 pixels wide if you want to get it relatively close to where I am. And then once I have that created, I'm just going to rotate this around. So I'll hold down the shift key, rotate it around. I want the pointed edges on the top and the bottom like that. And so once I have that done, we'll switch back to the move tool. I'm going to make sure there's no fill and I'm going to make sure that I target the stroke. And then we're going to go over to the gradient panel and we're going to put a gradient on the stroke. Then I'm going to change the color of the gradient on the stroke. This is totally up to you, whatever your color choices are. I'll double click the gradient stop here and we'll choose something like a hot pink and then I'll double click here and I'll choose something like an electric blue. And so once I've got those two set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of the stroke to something like three points. Then we're gonna grab the rotate tool by pressing the letter R on the keyboard. And as you can see, when I click and drag, it just rotates this around. What I'm looking to do is rotate this about three to four degrees, roughly. And then before you let it go, hold down the option key on Mac, alt key on PC, and then release your mouse and then release your key. Once I've done that, I can now repeat this transformation all the way around. So just like this, I'll just press Command or Control D to do that until I've made a complete circle and it looks something kind of like that. Then what I'm going to do is select everything here and we're going to change the opacity of all of these. So in the Properties panel, click Opacity, choose Screen, click here to deselect and then as I zoom in you can kind of see that these colors are now interacting with one another and if you really want to see this put a dark background behind it so I'll grab the rectangle tool here no stroke solid fill and then we'll just kind of throw a background behind this thing right click arrange send to back there we go and then let's change the color of this thing Something like a nice black. There we go. And now I've got this really cool spiral shape that I can manipulate any way I want. I'll tell you a cool effect that I like to do here. I like to select it, copy it with Command or Control C, paste it, Command or Control F, that means paste in front, and then just hold down Shift in the Option key and shrink it down until it's just inside itself. In many cases, it'll snap like that and then just keep doing that and what you wind up with is a really cool almost like a I don't know like a warp like a portal kind of look it is a really interesting little effect you can play around with the colors on the gradient change the blend mode to change the interaction between everything but as you can see it is really simple to do and it is a really awesome effect so hope you enjoyed it hope you learned a few things if you did, be sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again next time.